Now, we understand two unexploded ordnance were discovered on the landed property under construction at Jalan Rabu in the Shunfu area. Well, our colleague, multimedia correspondent Yo Samjo, is at the scene. Samjo, what can you tell us? Hi Olivia and Jan and everyone watching. Uh, yes, you are right, I am on Jalan Rabu. Now this is a, for those of you unfamiliar with Jalan Rabu, this is a short uh, residential stretch, you know, just between Upper Thompson Road as well as Marymount Road. So it's a short resi private residential estate, as you can see around me, all these uh, terrace houses uh, flanking me to the left and right. And behind me, a police cordon tape. Uh, this was just cordoned off earlier this afternoon when residents were alerted by authorities. Um, those closest to the unit 43 Jalan Rabu, which is just right behind me over there, you can see one unit, the corner terrace right at the end. It's currently undergoing construction. And apparently, those who are working on the house found a particular object. They're not really sure what this object is yet. We're still, uh, you know, awaiting confirmation. But there is talk that it could either be some sort of ordinance, either like a bomb or a missile round. Again, um, residents nearest to that unit were told to evacuate. So as you can see, this is where um, the tape has gone up. So all the units behind this tape have been told to evacuate. Uh, we spoke to some of the residents earlier, um, some of them who were asked to evacuate these units as well. Um, mostly, you know, this street is really a quiet residential street. Uh, usually not much happens here, you know, they want to go and do their marketing, they walk over to Shunfu Market, which is just a stone's throw away, or they will go down to Upper Thompson Road for some makan, right? So some of the residents here today, earlier, they were just, some of them roused from their sleep, you know, when authorities came knocking to say, hey, you might have to evacuate, you have to evacuate now, uh, we found something uh, in the unit that's undergoing construction. So we spoke to some of them and they're not really in any sort of panic, I think, uh, they, they were reassured by authorities that, you know, everything's under control uh, and that, you know, uh, I mean, this is not the first time, of course, that some sort of military ordinance has been found. Uh, as you know, like, you know, war has happened here before, so on and so forth. So residents whom we spoke to pretty much still in a state of calm. Uh, as you can see, it's still very quiet. There's not much activity, not a lot of crowd. There's just some neighbours who, behind the camera here, were kind of like peering, you know, peering in towards that direction beyond the cordon tape just to get in on some of the action and not much action apart from the fact that there are some police cars here and also if you see behind me that vehicle some military personnel uh, arrived a while ago in that vehicle uh, and they've been uh, they actually brought out some boxes of equipment and they've been seen going in and out of the construction site so once again that is 43 Jalan Rabu uh, which we actually caught we caught um, we actually managed to take a look at the construction notice that's outside this particular unit and 43 Jalan Rabu is a corner terrace house and there's a three-story development. They're, going to, they're building a three-story development right now. Uh, according to the notice, it's complete with an attic and a swimming pool. So I guess it was during the construction, you know, when they were... Um, oh, as you can see right now, some military personnel just came out with a box of equipment. We're not sure what's in there. But yeah, that's Police largely, you know, what's been going on here. So, Sanjo, We've tried getting confirmation from... Uh, yes. Um, can I just... Yes, Olivia. So I may have missed it earlier, but um, there are officials or military personnel inside the construction site. And they're trying to detonate yes. or, you know, trying to resolve this situation. Well, they're definitely dealing with the situation. We're not sure if there's anything to detonate. Like I said earlier, mm. you know, it's unclear right now. We are still waiting for confirmation as to the exact nature of this object that was found and whether or not there, were, there was indeed more than one object, right? But definitely suffice to say it's enough for the police to come here and evacuate some people, especially the units nearest, closest to 43 Jalan Rabu. And as you can see behind me, uh, enough for some military personnel to come yeah. down with um, heavy equipment as well. Um, it is still unclear uh, because the people on the ground here, are, you know, I guess they're doing their job and they're not able to uh, make any official comments to the media. So we're still waiting for official confirmation from the authorities as we speak. But as far as on the ground, uh, we see military personnel and police presence um, and the neighbours are, you know, 
milling around, but just going about their own their business as usual. You know, some of them are heading out for dinner. Some of them are just coming home from work. Uh, but those that we spoke to, they don't seem um, mm. they don't seem very worried, and they believe that you know a lot of them mention the fact that you know such instances have happened in Singapore before, and so they are very uh, confident that whoever is dealing with it at the moment, aka those guys behind me, right. they are very confident that uh, whatever that needs to be dealt with will be dealt with in a okay. safe way. Right. Thank you so much, Sam. Yeah. Do so back to you guys in the studio. While you're over there, that was multimedia correspondent Yo Sam Joe. Well, not many details at the moment. So do check in with Newsnight later at 9 p.m., where Chow Suen will have the latest.